In this next mini lesson, you're gonna learn how to sort and take out the trash. You're going to need a trash can, and we just use a small bucket with a plastic bag from the grocery store in it, a tub for compost and food scraps, and a small basket or a cardboard box for your recycling. So this goes in the landfill, this goes in the compost, and this goes into our big recycling bin outside. It gets taken to the recycling sorting facilities. You're also going to need a trash can liner, and we just use grocery bags, and we use those for our trash can. And you're going to need a damp towel for wiping out the containers if there are any spills or leaks. So whenever you have garbage that cannot be composted or recycled, it will go into the trash can for the landfill. In the compost, you can put peels and cores and stems and things that look a little yucky or even cereal that has gone old and stale. You can put those things in here. Coffee grounds are another good thing. Eggshells, those can all go in the compost and then you can take them outside to the compost bin if you have one. You can also put them in a yard waste bin. So if you have yard waste pickup, like the leaves and things like that and grass clippings from on the lawn, you can put your compost in that as well because it's all plant material. And then recycling, you're gonna put five different kinds of things in there. You can put glass, this is an empty glass bottle that had hot sauce in it. You can put plastic containers, and these are all made out of plastic, and they all have the recycling symbol on them, and that's how I know that they can go in there. Here is a um, milk jug, mayonnaise, and ketchup. Those are all made out of um, plastic, and one thing that you'll notice is that I rinsed them out, I put the lids back on, and now I can recycle them. If they're still a little bit wet, that's okay. Another common thing that we have in our homes is cardboard. Cardboard that food came in, like raisins and cream cheese, they can go in the recycle bin, or this was from a tea box, or even pizza circles that come on the frozen pizzas that you might um, buy. So you're going to scrape off as much of the baked on cheese and pizza crust as possible to get it as clean as possible. You're just going to fold it and put it in your compost. This is a container that some vegetables came in. It also has a recycling symbol number one on the bottom so it can be recycled. If you're getting school lunches and school breakfasts from school, you may get a lot of food in these little plastic containers with lids. Just give them a rinse and you can also put those into the recycle bin. Another thing that we get a lot of at our house is junk mail, for example. And sometimes we have papers from school or from office work or just, you know, things that come in the mail that we're finished reading that we can throw away. Paper bags, like little ones like this, or magazines and catalogs. They can also go in the recycle bin. So I'm gonna add all of those things except for this one. This is um, an advertisement for the grocery store, and I'm going to save that. I'm going to show you in a minute what I use that for. So magazines, you can pass on to your neighbors or friends if you're done reading them before you recycle them. And if you have a paper bag that is still good to use, like this one, I'm actually going to use it to save some seeds. So I'm not going to recycle this. I'm going to reuse it. Okay? So I'm going to put those things in here. Oh, and then we have two more cans. We have a can that's made out of steel. You can hear that is definitely steel. So this is a steel can that can be recycled. And again, you want to rinse it out so it doesn't get all smelly and gross. And then an aluminum can, like soda cans or sparkling water cans. Those can all go in there. And then here we have a cardboard box. Something came in the mail, but we've got to check on the inside to see what's in there. And oh, there is some bubble wrap and some airspace packaging, and that's it. Okay, so this I'm going to say because I'm going to show you how we recycle that. And then if you have a box like this, you need to break it down. You're going to put your two fingers right there next to the strip. You're going to pull it up. And then pull it down. If it doesn't pull down all the way, you can just rip it apart. You're going to flatten the box, fold it over, and also put it in the recycling bin. 
And now you're ready to take the trash outside. Before I take out the trash, I'm going to lift up the bag. I'm gonna tie it twice, make a nice knot. And then I'm gonna lift it out and I'm gonna check the bottom. Oh, and I see there's a bag in there, right? I just wanna make sure there's no leaks and no wetness down here. It was dirty. I could wipe it out, make sure there's no spills and no grossness. Otherwise they get really smelly. And just put the bag in there. And then that's ready to go back under the counter. And I'm going to take my trash. I'm gonna throw it in the trash can. Take my little crate here with my recyclables. And I'm gonna carefully dump those in there. And now I'm done. And this is my compost bin. I'm gonna take my compost and I'm gonna dump it in there. And now the worms can turn it into new soil for my garden. Okay, I've taken out the trash. This one's ready to go back under the counter. The recycle bin was not very dirty, but I'm gonna take my cloth. It's damp and I'm gonna just kind of wipe it so that it doesn't get sticky and gross over time. I always wanna keep my kitchen neat and clean so I don't have ants or God forbid mice in my house. And then here's the compost bin. And I'm also gonna wipe that down. Or if it's really dirty, I'm going to um, wash it in the sink and make sure that it's really clean, but there wasn't much dirty things in there. And I'm gonna show you what I use this for. So I use this to line the bottom of my compost bin so that nothing sticks and gets super gross down there. And this can also be composted. So this is just a way to help keep my compost bin clean. This is the cabinet under my kitchen sink. This is where I keep my basket for the recyclables and my landfill trash. I also have here on the inside of the cabinet door the rules for recycling. So stick with the six plastic bottles and containers, glass bottles and jars, paper, food and beverage cartons, metal food and beverage cans, and flattened cardboard. That way my family will always know what goes in this bin. But I also had a write on there, no plastic bags or wrappers ever, because they were trying to recycle them. Because if you look at plastic bags, they often have a recycling sign on them. And my family's like, it says you can recycle them. Why can't I put them there? It's because at the recycling center where they sort all the trash into different categories, they jam up the machines. You can still recycle them, but it has to be a different kind of recycling. I'll show you how in just a minute. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how we recycle our plastic bags. So many plastic wrappers have the recycling logo on them, as you can see right there, right there, and right here. And sometimes it's right on the bottom of the fold, right there, right there it is. So lots of packaging material comes in plastic, soft, squishy plastic, and it has the recycling symbol on it, but you can't put it into the co-mingled recycling with the cardboard and the steel cans and the glass and plastic, the hard plastic. So you need to just have a plastic bag that can hold a bunch of plastic bags. And even this plastic bag is recyclable. I'm gonna show you right there. See, it is the recycling whoops, symbol right there. And we just have one of these under the, in the cabinet under one of the counters. And every time we see the recycling symbol on a plastic bag, we just stick it into this bag. Another thing you can recycle is shrink wrap. If the shrink wrap is clean, like this one came from the top of a mushroom container, or if you're using saran wrap in the kitchen, and it's not really dirty, you can recycle it together with grocery bags, and produce bags, and carrot bags, and bread bags, and bagel bags. And this was apples, and here's bubble wrap, and here's more bubble wrap and other packaging material that came in boxes. All of that can go to the plastic bag drop-off at the grocery store. Schnucks and Trader Joe's and Walmart stores have big bins just for plastic bags and you can drop them off on your trip to the store. Now, not all plastic bags are recyclable. 
especially the ones that have a Ziploc at the top. And if you look carefully on those bags, it will say not recyclable. It says plastic pouch cannot be recycled. So these plastic pouches cannot be recycled, but they can be reused because they have a Ziploc bag. They are a Ziploc bag. So if it's clean, you just empty it out in the compost if there's any crumbs in there. And then you can put things in there like a sandwich or a snack. You can Ziploc it shut and you can use it again. So that way you don't ever have to buy plastic Ziploc bags. You're gonna save your family some money. You're doing a good thing for the earth. Thanks so much. I hope you enjoyed watching this video about taking out the trash.